forget to show you guys the support down in the disc or down in the uh, comment section by telling me what I am and I'm not doing right. Uh, and also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to uh, follow or keep up to date with me about uh, I am the farm and what we're doing and how we're doing it. And uh, don't forget to hit that little bell so you know that I am a trip. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you know when I post. And yeah, so back to the video. posted was a goals video essentially. We had, I, I, I posted something on social media and the subscriber count jumped from 42 to uh, 60 I think is what we're at right now. And let me tell you, there is nothing more exciting for me than to watch that count grow. And I was so like ecstatic and unbelievably happy when I saw that things were starting to actually happen. And honestly I'm telling you show people in the world what it's like to uh, grow and up, up, grow up in a small town, a small, a small farm. And sorry for a, a crap camera angle, I'm kind of paying attention to what I'm doing. And uh, I, I'm glad that there are so many people who want to join across, uh, who want to join me on this platform that is, you know, it's, it's absolutely astounding the amount of people that want to see this and uh, honestly I was kind of, kind of surprised and it continues to surprise me and you know what there's nothing uh, that I can't say that there's nothing that I can say that can explain how happy that we are and how ecstatic and amazed that we are that this kind of support is being shown and it's unbelievable I'm missing a lot it's unbelievable to me exactly what it is that uh, people want to see. And I, I, I want to interact with you guys. So we're going to start a little bit of a, a, a daily challenge here. I want you guys, if you re, if you watch this to this point of the video, I want you to um, tell me how your day was. Tell me, tell me anything. Tell me how your day was. Tell me if you are um, happy, healthy. Tell me how your family is doing. And if, if you're at home and you're trapped, what are you doing to keep, you know, kill the time? Are you, are you watching uh, YouTube? Are you building things? Are you being creative? And if you are uh, doing, or if you're infected with COVID or you have a problem or you're, if you're diagnosed with COVID, I want you guys to tell me what it's like. I want you guys to spread the word about what it's like to have the disease so that people around will understand just how bad it is. Because honestly, there's not enough news stories about COVID to put actual fear into anybody. I am screwing this thing up really bad. Let's see. There's not enough stories about COVID to actually put real fear into somebody. All right, so there is a lot of people out there that I'm sure that are actually truly scared of COVID, and you should be. There's no, I'm not gonna lie to you. 
Uh, COVID is exactly scary in this world right now. And I want you to understand that no matter what, you need to stick together and care about more than just yourself. It's about everybody. If you take it somewhere after going to the store or the theaters, which I don't even think there's any theaters open anymore, um, and you take it somewhere else, you know, you just spread it to everybody else, and if they have somebody in their family who's weak from it, you need to keep in mind that that's their family. Just got them sick. So, uh, just be smart about it. And also, I'd like to tell you that uh, these trees got cut so I could take this tractor and the brush hog around without getting smacked in the face. And, uh, yeah. So, oh, and the other thing. This sprayer that you're looking at didn't get used for last year. They used a... Um, just a hand sprayer, which proved to be exactly a lot of work. Yeah, I'm going to have to do two passes. And um, so, to be honest, the, uh, the, the sprayer needed a lot of work. The wood was rotten out, the, the three-point was bending, and uh, honestly, it just, it, it took a lot of time before I was, um, before I was rolling. In fact, I got up at 6 o'clock this morning, and I didn't get rolling until, uh, Probably about 110-ish. That's when I turn the key on the tractor. So I'm going to back up there. There's a big patch of leaves. Also, I want to try something new. Share this video with friends. Share this video across other platforms if you'd like to. And I want to see if we can get this channel up to 100 subscribers before, and you heard me right, before the end of April. I want to see if we can do that. Right now it's April 7th, and we are at 60 subscribers, so we only have 40 more to go. And I want to see if we can hit that initial threshold before the end of April. You know what? Before the halfway mark of April. I want to see this channel grow, and I want to see this community grow. So try spreading the video, try spreading the name, try spreading the channel. Let's see if we can hit this goal by the middle of April. See if you can help me make my dream come true. Together, we'll hopefully learn more about farming and what it's like to uh, be a small farm, surrounded by all these big ones. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, intelligent me just found a sinkhole, and I'm still stuck in a sinkhole. That son of a! It's going apart. Anyway, I figured this would be a good time to show you what we did. Added a good old support back here. We added some plywood, new plywood. We got some chain tension here, I gotta adjust that again. And we have a leaking spot up here. It seems to have stopped, but it's leaking right here. Um, so essentially what I had to do is I started this up. Um, pump was not pumping. Found out, I thought that the pump had ceased up, tore a pump apart. I filmed it, and then dropped the camera. And didn't realize it. So, all you'll hear is me talking about it. Wasn't that exciting. Essentially, it's three little things in there on a cam to bearing, and it goes like, and pumps the water. And that's essentially what we got for the, down here, uh, there's some dirt in there, that's always lovely. And I got hit a few times by this thing, and uh, yeah. Anyway, there's a lot of cuss words, but other than that, we're pretty good. Right now he's out, uh, my dad's out on out cultivating the fields and my grandfather's out cutting trees. We're going to try and get these fields ready. I think we're about a week away from harvest, or not from harvest, what am I thinking? I think we're about a week away from planting and it's sunny and 75 right now and I can feel it. So, um, so that's what we did, let's get back to the barn. And I'm sorry that the video is so short, but uh, wasn't really much to do today. I got other things I gotta do, so let's get back to it. Also, I don't know how much I'm gonna get filmed because the camera's almost out of battery. I saw something here in the field. Ah. What in the fresh hell? Looks like a bowl somebody would give out to a cat. That's, uh, I think I know who it is, but can't go over there, so. <laughs> I don't even know where to put this damn thing. 
Alright, hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry about that, my camera died and uh, I didn't get much charge. I went back, got a new battery. This one's not very charged either, so we'll see how much footage we get. I just did that little bend down there. We're gonna go up to the highway here and see if we can't get that done. but I'll try to record some of going back. If I do, great. If I don't, well, I'm sorry. I can't. It's just windy and there's traffic for some reason. So 